All right. Uh, let's see. So before we uh, before we switch, I was asked how many relics. Uh, how many relics have I not seen yet? And the answer is one. I haven't seen one, and I haven't unlocked three. There's two boss relics and one rare relic that I haven't unlocked. And there's one... Oh, it's an event. Uh, it's an event thing that I haven't found yet. Which is apparently f flaming turds? I'm not entirely sure. Also read some lore. Is there lore? I mean, we have statistics. Total victories, 10. Total deaths... Okay, so 20% win rate, that's rough. Relics unlocked, 12 out of 15. Highest descent, 51. Fastest victory, 46 minutes. And here's all the achievements. Oh! Wait, what? The boss defeated the slime boss? I've totally done that before. Defeat a boss in a single turn. Oh, jeez. Barricaded, 999 block during combat. 10 shivs in a single turn. Win a combat without playing an attack. Have three or few fewer cards in your hand. Draw and discard pile combined. How the hell would you even do that? Like, legitimate question. That must be really, really hard. You'd have to remove all your strikes and defends. I don't know. I... I don't know. Either way, let's keep going with Ironclad. Lose 8 max HP for 250 gold. I like that. Do we have a shop? We do? Do we have a better shop? Not really. Um... This is kind of just bad. It's really easy if you have exhaust cards. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, get the 999 armor achievement. That's the plan. Okay. So we got a mid-boss there. Decent chain here. I mean, I could just kind of hang to the left. It's not the greatest, but... But it would give me enough. I have a shop on the left. Yeah, I do. After this guy. Which actually means... I can come from over here. Or... I can come from over here. Okay. This is an okay mystery machine. So if we go all the way up here, get to this guy, cross over, and then back. It's going to be a little bit awkward... But I think this is okay. Uh, so if, let's lose the 8 max HP. Risk reward. Yeah, first dot is a shop on the far left. Yeah, but it's uh... I'm, I feel like I'm gonna gimp myself doing it. Maybe not actually. It, it doesn't look so bad. Yeah, let's go for the early shop. We lose out on like a little bit of mystery machining. Uh, but we can get whatever's in the shop. Because I can get here and decide mid-boss, bonfire, continue up. I think that's good enough. We'll see. I mean, what... Eh. It has been a while since I've done an ironclad run. I've actually forgot how it goes. Okay, so apparently the slime boss achievement is just bugged. Alright, well that's fine. Yeah, killing the slime boss in one uh one whole round seems like it would be a bit of a bit of a nuisance. Ugh, this weakness. Alright, defend, defend, and strike. I'll just long con this one. Yeah, this is there have been a lot of good roguelikes at this this year, but I think I want to say this is probably my favorite. I might have actually been able to kill him there. 
whatever. We'll just mitigate the damage. Let me see. Defend. No, I probably should have just hit him, honestly. Whatever. Weakness is gone. I can kill him this round. Bash. Strike. And all, honestly, we just are a little bit down. Okay. Havoc or Iron Wave? Absolutely Iron Wave. Alright, so I have 368 gold. I have options. I mean, really, correction, I have a option. And everything else is stupid. I have multiple options. Well, that makes life a lot easier. I don't think I've ever actually done an apotheosis run with this guy. Madness might have been a little bit unnecessary there. But yeah. Apotheosis on this guy. He's really good. Let's just do bash and then defend. Because no matter what, it shows back up. Oh, jeez. I actually really hope we get another dead branch run on this. Because that would be amazing. Simply amazing. Maybe. I don't know. Now all I need is lightning in a bottle. You're not wrong about that. Alright. Dual wield is good. But scary. I don't have the energy management. Let's go with the let's go in with inflame. I rendered my armaments useless. No, it means I don't have to get armaments for once. Which I'm very happy about. Cause armaments is a really, really good card. But if I have apotheosis, who cares? Wee! Iron Wave! Strike! Going to wreck your shit! Alright. Uh, let's do... Inflame... Bash. I guess I could have actually killed him if I hit Strike, but whatever, I'll kill him on the next round. Unless I draw nothing but blocks, which is entirely possible. Nope, we're good. I did an apotheosis run a few days ago. But with the ironclad. I mean, maybe I did. Uh, I like rupture. It's a little premature to get rupture. We'll get it, because Apotheosis makes it free. Alright, and I... 175 gold for Doubt. Sure. Here's the thing, I have another shop coming up. What does Exhaust do? Uh, removes it from your hand. Sort of. Hello! So Doubt is a bit of a pain in the butt. But Lagavulin ain't terrible. At least, not for this run. Almost every other run, Lagavulin would be scary pants. Let's drink this. Uh, could hit him with a bash. Or I could just defend, take no damage, and... No, we'll hit him with a bash, it'll kill him faster. I think I think this will be okay. Yeah, the money ain't great. Uh The money from that that snake's thing ain't great, but the removal isn't that expensive either. So it's not so bad. All right. I'm just going to make one of those free mainly just because I'm not going to get the chance to play it again probably. Now, unfortunately, Lagavulin reduces my uh my strength and my dexterity. Meaning at this point, we're really just going to want to wail on him. I 
I'll take a little bit, but this is okay. Great combo is Warcry and Dual Wield. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of really good potential combos that you could pull. Okay, not too much, and we get the Discerning Monocle. And Limit Break. Okay. Well, there's Apotheosis right off the bat. That's absurd. I'd like to do Limit Break, but I don't have any strength. If I could start with a little bit of strength, obviously that would, uh, that would balance everything out. Madness for a free strike. Yeah, starting... Getting Apotheosis and Madness in that initial, uh, shop has more or less just made this entire run from, you know, pretty damn good into, like comically overpowered. Now, I'm only going to do 9 damage to one of these guys. Let's just offset the damage a little bit. These guys kind of hurt. I got a regen potion, though. Unfortunately, my nose is starting to run. Which is kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba. I'll just set this up so I kill both of them. Let's see, will I be playing Divinity this weekend? I think on Sunday. Okay, Limit Break. Which, ultimately, kind of comes off as a bit pointless, but whatever. Uh, Just kill that guy. I'm probably mismanaging things here, but that that's fine. Yeah, all I need is that that final area with the two two madness cards for free. Yep, that would be magic. No D and D on Sunday. Uh if we're doing D and D, it'll be tomorrow. But I don't entirely know if it's going to even be tomorrow. I'll go f feel no pain. I I don't entirely know where I'm going with this build, but powers are always nice. Um, yeah, the main reason why I don't really know what's going on is because uh, birds bunnies are sick. Uh, or dying or something. And so I actually have no means of figuring out what the plan is going to be. So either it's happening tomorrow, or it's not happening till sometime next week. Which sucks, because I like D&D just as much as you guys do. Well, there's Apotheosis. Iron Wave. Five damage, so it'll kill that guy. That'll kill that guy. Defend. I'm sure birds bunnies are are fine, but when bird bird says uh, bunny health problems, I'm just like, well, not going to uh, not going to bug him on that. Dude loves his bunnies. I'd say way too much, but I mean, it's a respectable amount of love for bunnies. So, Body Slam would be interesting. True Grit would be really... We'll get True Grit. I can just kind of ignore it most of the time. Pen Nib, hell yeah! Alright, and let's go into the mid-boss. It's this sucker. Let's start with that. Okay, I was really hoping I'd be able to get rid of Doubt, but that's fine. Okay. So what do we got? Inflame. Bash. Now, Vulnerable is just from attacks. And Feel No Pain is kind of useless here. So this guy, this guy is scary, can kill me really easily. Do madness, why did I do that? I just used madness, hoping I could get the free strike, I guess. I might die. I'll probably be fine. We gotta do apotheosis. Gives him further strength, though. I'm just going to do Rupture. So I'm down to 20. 
I'm just gonna hit him with a fire potion. All I have to do is... All I have to do is hit him, like, twice. There we go. Goblin Knob is Dunsky. Good. We get the Strange Spoon, which is amazing. I like the idea of Impervious. Especially with the Bent Spoon. Oh yeah, I've got a shit ton of money. Alright, oh. What else we got? Master Strategy is no good. Deep Breath is kind of nice. I could just get, like, Shrug it off. Or a Potion. Anger is OP. No. Anger can be really good. Deep Breath might be kind of fun. Or I could just save it. Yeah. Spoon is 50% to not exhaust an exhaust card. Yeah. So the reason why I don't like anger is because, uh, this... Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't increase the amount of draws I can get. So I don't, I don't like Anger. Havoc could be interesting, but it's risky. But it could work. The main problem is I could, I could lose out on a card that I actually need. Which really isn't that much, but I also don't have the uh, space for it. I'm just going to get Shrug it off because we have almost no draws. I'm going to get a Dex Potion. Yeah, Anger plus Spinning Top would be stupid. It would be. I would love an Anger Spinning Top run. But I have to get Spinning Top first. Havoc will help get the purity achievement. Yeah, but this is this is not a run I'm going to squander on the purity achievement. Okay. Let's do inflame. And I'm just going to pop impervious right now, which does not get discarded. All right, cool. And we have pen nib ready to go. Yeah, the the anger the idea of an anger top run would be absurdly fun. Okay, so let's do 16 damage to this guy. Yeah, the spike slime's a pain in the ass, but we gotta go for the cultist. Yeah, I haven't quite hit where, we're, where we want to be yet on this run. But we're getting damn close. Really, at this point, the main thing that I want is, uh... The main thing that I want is lightning in a bottle so I can always start with Apotheosis. Because effectively having Apotheosis at the beginning of every battle means I just become ridiculous. Free Strike. Feel No Pain. Defend. True Grit. Just because. So yeah, Anger would be good with Spinning Top. Anger would be actually fairly decent on another character. Yeah, now if Apotheosis doesn't block. Um... Ooh, Headbutt. It's... Mm. 
not as good as you think it would be. Well, there's another Apotheosis. Unfortunately, I don't have the 80 gold. Okay, so it's 80 gold to remove uh, that curse, which is Regret. Regret sucks. But that's fine. Okay, let's go over here. Now, I could risk it for a relic. But that's really scary. This run has potential. Let's let's just rest. Let's not be stupid. Because, yeah, this guy could have one-shot me earlier. And that would be annoying. Regret works with Combust. Huh. I should have saved the money. It's fine. Alright, well there's Apotheosis. I'm just gonna chuck the Potion of Weakness at him. We'll get more. Okay. So he's gonna hit me for 18. What do I have in my discard? Nothing important. But at this point, I'd rather just uh, hit him, and we'll throw True Grit back onto our onto our defense here. Ah, uh, defense? I'll throw True Grit on top of the pile. That way, I could maybe get rid of Regret. There we are. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about that curse. Okay, so Regret works with, uh, Rupture. Er, Rupture. It's a neat idea. And I could do... Let's do Madness just to make Impervious free. But I'm not going to use Impervious here, because that would be silly. Okay. Yeah, if we could get a dead stick uh, corruption run going, we would be kind of ridiculous. Okay, let's headbutt him to get that back. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm pretty much just going to be limit breaking myself repeatedly here. Which I absolutely will accept. So there's the next limit break. There's a shrug it off. Which, I'll just strike him. Okay, so I have Bash, Strike, and we're just going to do Impervious. I mean, at this point, chances are, yeah, he's not going to make it up to 6, and this way I'll kill him in, like, a turn or two. Ugh, burn. Limit Break for yet more damage. Headbutt, and he's dead. My Strength is a nice power of 2. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, jeez. Um... Double tap is stupid. Bludgeon hits really hard. Reaper is probably... So, Bludgeon is fun, you're correct. Reaper... is what I'm going for, though. I have used Reaper in the past to get my health so high. Okay, uh, let's go Sozu. I don't even have any potions this time, or right now anyway. Double tap, limit break. Double tap is attack only. Limit break is a skill. Doesn't function. It's a neat idea, but not so functional. Alright, so we've got a decent mystery machine rolling up the left side. Uh, I might... Oh, hold horses. Rethink, we have a nice mystery machine, but we need a bonfire chain. I'm going to just dodge every mid-boss here, aren't I? Because we'll get bonfire, bonfire, cross over... Bonfire, bonfire. Yeah, it's worth it. Let's get shoveling.
Okay. Bash. Strike. Strike. Oh, yeah. Beauty part is... Uh, I have four energy now. Potions are really nice. But we'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna bring Bash back. I'm hexed, but he's almost dead already. Yeah, with Reaper, I might not need. Uh, what, the bonfires? No, 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 no. It's not the bonfires that I'm here for. Ooh, Feel No Pain works really well with the, uh... Feel No Pain works incredibly well against Days. That's amazing. No Apotheosis. Still hoping for uh, Lightning in a Bottle here. Okay, Pummel Strike, draw two cards. Which is actually really tempting. Let's go with that. Okay, so this is just kind of butts. Madness. Defend, defend. And I hate to do this, but we'll just do the limit break so we only take one damage from that. Get it out of there. These guys suck, and that was a really bad pull. This is why I got Pommel Strike, so I could actually get some draws. Well, this is kind of in the opposite direction. All right, I can't throw potions at things. I mean, at least I do a ton of damage, especially because my next attack is going to be Pennib. Oh, please tell me I get Reaper. I do not. Okay. Let's get Pommel Strike back. And unfortunately this mugger is... Uh, well defended. Well, there's Reapers. Let's do a Pommel Strike. Apotheosis. Apotheosis. In Flame... And then, sadly, we can only Reaper him for a fraction of our HP back. One more hit and I would have taken him out, but... Too many blocks, not enough whatevers. Okay, at least I get some of my gold back. Armaments. Second Wind or Seeing Red. Okay, so we're going this way. I like to go this way, but mid-boss... Ain't better than a free free bonfire. A gold for HP, a fair trade. Sorta. Okay, so let's do inflame, feel no pain, rupture, and then defend. Yeah. Oh man, can you imagine if I could get the uh th either the uh the bird bird headed jar, the one that heals me every time I use a power, or the one that makes uh things free if whenever I use a power. Oh, that magic. Or ice cream. I mean, ice cream on this run would be fun, especially if I if I get uh, to keep my my exhausted cards every once in a while. That'd be pretty good. I not a fan of this. Well, I could headbutt him. I can take apotheosis back. Let's take apotheosis back. What happens when I double upgrade? It's not going to do anything. I really wish you could. Madness. Seeing red. Defend. True grit the apotheosis for a ton of defense. There we go. This one feels slightly less powerful than the other one. It's because this one hasn't gotten its, uh... We got the shovel later. Which makes it a little bit harder. Do pommel strike. Let's see. I'd like to do limit break. But we'll hit it with Reaper, kill it, heal 24. Hell yeah, Reaper is good. 
Yeah, I know there is se uh, Searing Strike. You are correct about that. Um, but it's... It's not... Great? Like, it's good. You're right. But it could be better. Let's do Shrug It Off. I was really hoping for Reaper. I Well, no, I already have Reaper. But let's hold off on Reaper. This is a long fight. It would actually be really cool if uh, cards, instead of just having like a linear upgrade system, actually had... Um... Jeez, how would I describe it? I mean, effectively, like, uh, if it kind of... I'll take the two damage. If you could actually have like a branching path. So for like Iron Wave, for example, you had three options. Middle ground or focus on damage or defense. Uh, and like with... Limit Break, for for example. Let's do Feel No Pain, Rupture, Impervious. I'm just gonna soak the hit. It burns. But like, it would be cool if you could have like branching upgrade paths for every for every card. It might get a little bit breaky though, but it'd be cool. See, they're not going to do anything to me, so all three of these cards are useless. Then you'd have to remove Apotheosis. Apotheosis. Maybe? I mean, yeah, maybe. Alright, so this is probably a good round for seeing red. Okay, so that gets us no. Let's do Headbutt on her, which lets me bring back Limit Break? What is my strength at? I have no idea. It's at three. Okay. So next up, Pommel Strike on her, Limit Break, Iron Wave, and then Defend and Defend. Okay, there we go. And then when Reaper loops back around, we'll heal up. This is why I like going Reaper. There's not a whole lot of cards in this game that actually heal you in combat. And getting one of those is real nice. Alright, let's uh... headbutt her. Take back the limit break. Strike. Bash. And then we'll get an extra strength here. It would also be cool if there was like, if it was, oh shit. That hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. Well, that's fine. Limit break. Reaper. Gets me most of my HP back and then just kills him. There we go. Another in flame, I will gladly take. Ah! These guys. Okay, who's the weakest? One in the front. I don't have any strength yet. Let's use madness. Hit this one. Um. None of them are gonna hit me. I really wish I started with one strength. I. If it weren't for Shovel, it'd actually upgrade Limit Break regularly. Or just Baseline. I'm just going to use Reaper, get it out of the way, it does some damage, and good enough. And we'll hold on to Seeing Red and the other ones. Does Flex work with Limit Break? Yes, it does. It's not worth it. Thing is, I'm probably not going to take a whole lot of damage from these guys. Also, we didn't lose Reaper there. So it was absolutely worth it. Alright, so there's an in Flame. There's Feel No Pain. And there's Impervious. I'll just take it. But yeah, this is why I'm being a little bit uh, aggressive with my... My... Exhaustible spells. Skills? Whatever. We do not have a whole lot of group hits. But that's what I was waiting for. Rupture. Strike. Defend. True Grit. We are going to take some damage here, though. But yes, uh, Limit Break does make Flex permanent, which is pretty good. In its own, like, twisted little way. So this is going to get bad. Let's kill him. You seeing red, if only because we gotta get that out of, out of there. Headbutt him. This is probably a good time to get Reaper back.
because one more hit and we get pen nib. So we can do a doubled up reap, uh, boost reaper. Yeah, that sounds like a good combo here. All right, so we'll do strike on this guy. And then we'll kill them both with Reaper, healing me back up to full health. Alright. Now is a good time for maybe Dual Wield. And that's the only time I'm going to pick up Dual Wield there. After this, we probably want to focus on some defensive cards. Gremlin Horn. It's okay. Okay. Headbutt. Which doesn't give me anything, except for Apotheosis. Apotheosis, which is kind of weird. Alright, I guess I'll just end the turn. None of these are going to help me. Yeah, I like, I like Dual Wield a lot. Oh, come on. This just isn't fair. Okay, Madness to make Reaper free. Helpful. Let's do Pommel Strike first, though. Uh, he's going to hit me for 14. Not much I can do about that. Inflame, Limit Break, Defend. And then I'm going to hold on to the Reaper because I'm going to take some damage here. And I might loop back around again and I can uh, kill him with the Reaper. Yeah, this is a very good run for Reaper. If it weren't for Reaper, we'd be having a lot more troubles. What can we even dual wield here? We could dual wield Regrets, which seems like a really bad move. But yeah, we desperately need some more block skills. The main reason why we're not dead yet is just because I know exactly how to use, um... I know exactly how to use Reaper to my benefit. Mostly to my benefit. I was really hoping it would pop back up. Shrug it off. Nope. Iron Wave. We'll be fine. I, I heal after battle, we get other stuff. Okay, Ghostly Armor is pretty good. Infernal Blade is weird crazy. Well, I did say I needed some more defense. Omamori. Okay. That helps. Shuriken. Shuriken is good. Infernal Blade is good with Spoon. You're right. But, okay, it's not a shop. That's good. Remove a card from the, the deck or upgrade all strikes and whatever. In retrospect, that might not have been so great, but this way we get it from the beginning. I know, I don't have a whole lot of cards I want to remove. I could have re removed Regret. Uh, I don't actually know if, which is better. Okay, so this is going to hurt. Oh, and he's reduced my damage a lot. Okay, so we get extra defense. Seems worth it. Yeah, we need more defensive base cards. Yeah, removing one card isn't that big of a deal. But I don't always draw my... I don't always draw my Apotheosis early. Apotheosis? Yeah, there we go. I, I'm i really hoping... Well, we could maybe turtle up and just hope I can hit him with a Reaper. No, it's... Better that I probably just hit him. Kill him. 
Yeah, we're taking some hits here. Now that Infernal Blade I will gladly take. The free one. Sounds fun. Matryoshka. All right. Let's do an Infernal Blade, which gets me Fiend Fire. Okay. I can tank the bird. Let's go for the Chosen. Yeah, seeing as we've got the Infernal Blade potentially cycling through my deck infinitely, I could probably freely just kind of use it. Okay, here we go. Do we? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Don't question it. This is dumb. Okay. Ooh, vulnerable. That hurts. Let's see. So we have Inflame. Dual wield. Wasn't that handy. Impervious. For crazy damage. I'll take the jacks. We need the strength. Yeah, the nice part is we actually are farming Hex. It's free block. The only problem is I don't draw that many cards. Which kind of sucks. We're not hitting these guys like we need to. Well, that's fine. My hourglass will kill them anyway. Ugh. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get barricades too. Okay. This sucks. Strike. Iron Wave. Doesn't kill it, but that's fine. Oy. Bird dies on this next turn. Oh, the spoon might save days. That's horrifying. I'm actually going to die here. Maybe not. No, I'm not going to die here. The days protect me. But this is a bad combo and some seriously bad draws. Mother... Okay, we take three. Yeah, the spoon is saving the dazed. We've got an interesting and terrible combination here. Okay. That was scary. We gotta get a shrug it off. Another headbutt would be nice. Another item would be nice, but 16 HP is not somewhere I want to be when I'm going into a boss fight. Oi. Okay, Apotheosis right from the Apotheosis right from the beginning. Let's do ghostly armor. Keep that going, and I guess I'll just bash him. Keep the rest. Okay. This is decent. We need some group hits. We need some group hits and some multi-hits here. This sucks. I got pen nib. So let's do pommel strike wallop him to death. Block. Block. Kind of desperate for blocks. I could do 15 damage, take on another one of these guys, or, or dual wield and hope I get a third block. Let's do this. Uh, I'm just gonna take Pommel Strike back. And kill this guy. Okay, that, that, oh, I had energy there because I killed a guy, damn it! Yeah, Reaper will be good for this uh, this round. Speaking of Reaper, let's do Rupture. 
Might as well get 27 HP back, and we get to keep it. We kill him. I get more energy, but that's a seeing red, which is not so great. Okay, we're back in business. We're alive. I'm probably just going to cycle those Reapers. My, my strength is high enough that I can just do whatever I want. I'll do Jax, Limit Break, Shrug it off. Uh, defend, seeing red, it might come back, and we get true grit. Yeah, ideally what I want for this run is metallicize. Or barricade. Bit of both. Would save me the most amount of trouble. Okay, madness. So feel no pain. Whenever a card's exhausted, gain six block. That's worthwhile. Reaper. And we keep it. Kill him. We're full health. And Iron Wave on that guy. Strength is going up. We're good. Yeah, just imagine if I could get Metallicize on this run. Uh, free... free armor all the time. Alright. Limit Break. 46 Strength. Infernal Blade. Heavy Blade. Ooh, fun. Okay, let's headbutt this guy to death. Give me that Limit Break back. Use the Limit Break. And just murder that guy for 217 damage. Yeah, <laughs> Reaper is one play of the game. We are indebted to it. Okay, so re another Reaper would be amazing, but I think Barricade's going to save my ass a little bit more. Okay, Velvet Choker. Burning Blood. Oh, jeez, all of these are really good. So, Velvet Choker would make it so I would have 5 energy per turn. That heals me 10 after every combat. Question card seems kind of iffy. Because the reason why I'm iffy on Black Blood is it's only 4 HP per turn. Yeah, let's... Let's go card for once. I, I know as you're saying, uh, go for the the burning blood, uh, or the black blood, but that that's only a 4 HP per, per combo. Let's go question card, because we really do need defensive stuff. Okay, so I got 206 gold, and we're looking for bonfires. We've got one here. And here. And here. And either... Okay. Yeah, let's keep chasing... Let's keep chasing those bonfires. So, here. Check if I want to go shop or mystery. Bonfire. Bonfire. Yeah. But yeah, if I could get entrenchment... Uh, or demon form or stuff. The 4 HP could be the difference or life or death. It'd be the difference of life or death reaching the boss. But I'm not entirely sure if it would save me once I get there. Ugh. Yeah, I'll probably want to stop at the shop, seeing as I've got the discerning monocle, and I kind of want to get rid of regret. I hate this thing. Um, I like to do impervious, but we lose barricade. Let's just do Defend and Barricade. That way I don't th have to think about it. Only a little bit of damage plus we get a Reaper coming on. There's Apotheosis. Took you long enough. Well, this sucks. Well, if we get Reaper, I can always just Reaper him. Bah. Okay, so what do we have? Pommel Strike. We'll do 14. Inflame. Reaper. Okay. Spot Weakness is pretty good. Body Slam is helpful. I like Flame Barrier. I mean, otherwise I could do head, but no. Flame Barrier is good. We just need more defense in the pool. 
Hey, more madness. And we'll stop by the shop. Because now I want to start getting rid of some of these curses. Okay, rupture. Bash, defend, strike. A headbutt for more limit play breaks. I really need defense, though. I Like, I'm taking way too many hits from these enemies. And it's kind of slowly killing me. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Seeing red. Barricade. I only have one curse. I've got two. I got two curses. I got regret. And... Oh, you're right! Because I had Almomori. Okay, maybe not shop then. I'll have to check the map leading into this then. I... Okay, I'm just gonna do Limit Break. It's not great, but I'm trying to avoid that damage as much as possible. I, I really need Metallicizer and Trench or any number of things. Okay, uh, we have Pennib going. So let's do that, and I will take, I don't know, Shrug It Off back? I'll take Shrug It Off back. Oh, I did have an energy bonus there. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'm very focused on combat. These guys are rough. I could do Jax. We'll do Jax. It'll pay for itself. Pommel Strike, which doesn't kill him. Reaper, which will, but I'll take the explosion. And I can do... Iron Wave, get the block. He's not going to hit me anyway. And... The Hourglass is not going to kill him. Okay. Infernal Blade. Iron Wave. Dual Wield. Feel no pain. Seeing red. Madness. There we go, a little bit of block. And that way I can hit him without taking any more damage. Okay. I like Iron Wave. I really like Iron Wave. Evolve Plus is pretty good too, though. <sighs> yeah, let's get Evolve Plus. It more or less solves our draw problems. Okay, so I got one curse. Kinda hurt. Do we have another shop? We have a shop all the way up here. I might not go for it. I could probably buy a relic. But I might find something here. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Let's go here. We'll shop later. I... Crap. I should have gone shopping. Okay, Infernal Blade gets me Rampage, which is free. Madness on Barricade, which is nice, which gets me Strike, and I can't use the Limit Break. I'm gonna die. Yeah, we just didn't get the defensive anythings we needed. I should have gone shopping. You guys are correct. I should have just gone shopping. Well, I think my luck's run out here. I mean, that was still a good run, but we had way too much on the uh, offensive and not nearly enough on the defensive. 
That was some really bad luck, too. Because I was like, yeah, I can fight most things. Uh, but not them. Not them. Oof. 